what did I do wrong when I went to the Philippines or what mistakes did I make? I would have to say they're all trust orientated. Um, be it sharing information with people, be it um, helping people get started in the call center industry and then they try to rip you off. Um, be it people lying to me. Um, wait, so the call center stuff, I generally pay people what the market rate is, not the local rate, the market rate. So um, somebody generating my sales for a particular campaign, I get paid five hundred dollars a week. Now the, the interesting thing is, one guy left because um, he messed it up. He was supposed to be the, managing the staff, etc., but was going to sleep at night. Um, and then the whole thing fell apart, you know, because I trusted him to run it himself. That's why he was getting paid $500 a week, um, because I shouldn't have to micromanage him. Um, I got him started, went through the motions with him, got him set up, trained him, blah, blah, blah. And he was just all right. And it went on for about four months, but then he just got less, did less and less work. Lazy mentality. Um... But when he left, who was he blaming? Oh, it was me. Uh, he, was, he wasn't getting paid enough. He was telling other people he was getting paid a pittance. Because um, the funny thing is they contacted me because the thing is they know me as a boss. So they're saying, oh, he's saying this. Thing. I said, look, he got paid $500 a week. I don't care what he says. This, that's how much he cares. And I don't care who knows how much he gets paid. I'm not having somebody lie. Uh, now, the funny thing on this is a couple of weeks back, somebody approached me because some of their contracts with somebody else is drying up um, and asked me could I get involved with them a bit more. So I'm chatting to him and he's saying, oh, the other guy doesn't pay me well. So how much do you pay? Oh, 20,000 pesos a month. And I'm like, that's not a lot for the amount you're generating. But irony here is, or... The funny thing here is I spoke to the guy he's working for last week and he was paying him $500 a week. The guy was lying to me again. Different guy, same lies. Um, so lying is one of the big problems. Trusting people is my biggest mistake because I do give people the benefit of the doubt and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The main thing here is not giving somebody the opportunity to really mess things up. Um, the guy that lost um, the guy that lost me quite a large contract cost me eighty five thousand um, dollars. Was I still in profit? The answer is yes, but there's a lot of money still to lose. Um, but at the same time, it was stupidity. You know, for my part, should I trust him or not? Well, the answer is, I was already working 20 hours a day. I needed people I could trust around me, and he let me down. Nothing you can do about it. But this is why you hear people complain about the trust issues. Um, now, not all Filipinos are like it, but it's why you go into a department store and there's three people on the counter just for one cash register. Um... Construction workers, just the same. Construction, you'll get someone say, I'm an electrician, a mechanic. And they're not. They're not anywhere near. Um, it's like almost learning on the job. <laughs> they're messing your stuff up while, they, you know, while they're learning. You know, I've had it before where jobs have had to be done three times. The third time being me do it because I've sacked the guys because they're useless. So mistake is having a higher expectation. Reality is, if you're aware exactly what what you want, spend a bit of time researching. Um, just because you've got guys that say they do building work, don't hire them. Best way to do it is actually look for people that have already used construction guys. Um, because they already know the quality and you can go and see somebody's house or whatever and get an idea of what quality is 
going to be like on your output. Um, but you need to find people that are available. Almon, for example, is the main guy I use. Um, he's probably my 20th builder. But he does shop fill in, he fits banks, he fits department stores, all sorts. He's a professional builder. And the funny thing is, he's not much more expensive than the other guys. And I'd much rather pay Almond to be there for a year, even if half the time he isn't actually working. Because keeping a good guy local is quite hard. We had it before where, I mean, bear in mind, this is our neighbours. Our neighbours turned around and tried to price hike him, because they offered him a pay rise. So... We're soon aware of it. I increased his pay above what they offered as well. Because um, at the end of the day, he wasn't, it cost me a lot anyway. But that's what I'm saying. It's all trust. I mean, your neighbour is trying to steal your builders halfway through a building job, knowing that you've still got your, your job to do. And their building is not in a rush. They just want to rob you of your builders. It, it, that's the Philippines. Um, visas and stuff I've never had any issues with. Expats can be a mixed kettle of fish because you can have some good expats and some absolute nutters. Um, my internet trolls are a prime example of an absolute nutter. Um, he, I think his problem is that he was a complete failure in the Philippines. I mean, because if he read up on his stuff, he, he acts as if he was important and all this... He's got a very trivial uh, pension, he's, and he's on about his farm and all that. He, he didn't have a farm. I mean, it's all, and you get expats do this, they'll ra rise everything up, but it's not there. They don't own it, they don't have it, they, it's just nonsense. And then they get all ag aggressive and nasty and troll you around the internet for three years because they don't like the fact that you've shown that they were actually lying I wasn't, I mean to be honest I wasn't targeting him for his farming by the way, it was the lies he was saying about other expats um, because he was just making stuff up and like now, he's stole my Facebook photos and all sorts guys are complete nutter but those people there's a lot of them in the Philippines um, it's just a bit weird because it's not something you'd expect to come across so, trusting people is another issue. Everything like I said comes down to trust. My biggest mistake is trust. Um, but at the same time, how do you progress if you don't trust anybody? Like same with the call center, the guy lost me money, but at the same time, I'm not going to run it on my own. You know, I'm already 20 hours a day, flat out. I can't do any more. Um, I need somebody to be dealing with this separate project. And he just let me down. It wasn't even like he let me down that week or something. Because he was fine for months. He just started going to bed instead of actually running the call center stuff, though. Um, and some stuff defies you. It, you. You try to put logic to stuff. That's our thing, logic. Logic isn't always the same in the Philippines. There's a different logic to it. So if it doesn't make any sense to you, just ask. Because a lot of time there'll be another solution to it that is not normal for Western eyes and Western brains. There'll be a local reason for stuff. Um, I don't know why the guy was going to sleep. I really don't. But I think sometimes people just assume they can get away with it. But we, see, the thing with that is trust again. Call centre agents... You need to uh, be on top of them 110%. It's, you give them trust, but only within, every, you know, to a point. Everything's about trust. Um, beyond that, I can't really say much, because you'll come across all this stuff yourself. Vehicles I went through a few in the Philippines. Um, what would I recommend? Personally, I wouldn't buy a multi-cab because they fold up like a tin can in a car crash. Um, 
I wouldn't go for a second hand motorcycle. The two I have fell apart, but the the new Rouser I've got is fantastic. It's actually sitting in my office. It's literally parked in my office to stop anyone using it or touching it or adjusting things on it. Because you get people, to, there's a adjuster on the fuel gauge so you can put different f fuel um, through. You know, you've got a fuel cut off, then there's like an eco mode, then there's full fuel. And people just mess around with it. And you just uh, just leave it alone. Because ownership's an odd thing in the Philippines. Everyone just assumes they can mess around with your stuff because it's yours, it's not theirs. It doesn't matter. If you break it, it doesn't matter because it's not theirs. Until theirs is broke, then they're having a bit of a fit. Anyway, that's the mistakes I made. And like I said, most of it's trust. If you can get around from not trusting anybody and then work from there. <laughs> Thanks for watching.